Welcome to our new topic, it's GCSE Challenge of Natural Hazards um, and as you can see here on the on the Cool Geography uh, website we've got uh, a few things you need to look at, the type of hazard, factors affecting the hazard risk, um, then um, the scheme goes into tectonic hazards, so those related to earthquakes, tsunamis and uh, volcanoes, so you've got uh, some stuff on plate boundaries, tectonic case studies, a couple of case studies and then uh, why do people live in those areas. Uh, following that, there's some stuff on uh, atmospheric hazards, so we have to look at the global atmospheric circulation, tropical storms, okay, finishing up with a case study of tropical uh, storm high ant, then the UK uh, extreme weather hazards as well, um, and it finishes up with a, a little bit on climate change, okay, so the evidence for it, what causes it, and then how we how we manage or mitigate that, that climate change, and at the bottom of the page there is a, a YouTube playlist. So... Um, the first section of this is natural hazards poses major risks to people and property and a natural hazard is any natural event that has the potential to endanger human life, the economy and property uh, and that differs from an, a natural event um, which would not damage uh, a human activity. So there's plenty of different uh, hazards on planet earth, you know rivers offer uh, flood risk um, you know, we get flash floods and things like that from them, so rivers can be quite can be quite dangerous. Um, cliffs, um, we get cliff collapse and things like that can offer a hazard. Uh, huge landslides, okay, there's a huge one there in, in Taiwan. Um, so when ground gets saturated and moves down a slope, um, we can get we can get those hazards. Uh, volcanic eruptions um, have have lots of different hazards from pyroclastic flows, huge ash clouds like the one you can see there. Um, slower moving uh, magma and, and so on. Uh, we have forest fires of which we're seeing increasing amounts with with global warming and this unit covers hurricanes as well you can see a, a hurricane you can see the, the eye of the storm in the middle the spiral bands and then uh, winds. Okay earthquakes uh, that uh, image is from Kobe in Japan okay but uh, obviously they can see a freeway that's been completely toppled over uh, we have diseases as well, which is quite current at the moment with COVID-19 going on. But there you've got pictures of uh, a malarial mosquito and the and the and the bacteria that goes with it. We get extensive coastal flooding in the UK. We have a huge coastline, so coastal flooding is particularly significant for us. And as sea levels rise, we might see more of that. You've got an image of a, a tsunami there from the Japan tsunami of, of 2011. So tsunamis are created by underwater earthquakes. That's another hazard we can get. Um, and that one there is drought, um, so obviously a lack of water um, is as hazardous as, as having too much water in a flood, so that can ruin agriculture and, and lead to starvation and, uh, and deaths, okay? So um, the activities are quite straightforward. Um, an atmospheric hazard is created in the atmosphere by the movement of the air and water. Terrestrial or geological hazards are created by the movement of the Earth's tectonic plates or surface rock and soil, so things like landslides would fit in there. Water-based hazards created by the rivers, ocean, uh, by the world's rivers, oceans, or seas, and a biological hazard, any biological substance that poses a threat to the health of people. Okay, so in your table, you're going to define those and try and come up with four or five examples of each. Okay, and then there's a ranking activity: which hazards do you think are the most rank, uh, most hazardous? Which ones are the least hazardous? To help you with that, there is a, a worksheet. OK, so uh, there's a web page link there. You can click on that and go to that. It'll tell you all about the hazards. You can see what the, the term natural hazard is in there. There's that table I've just shown you. OK, and then um, you can have a think about uh, which hazards out of the ones that you've listed above, hurricanes, earthquakes, whatever, are most hazardous and why. And then the least risky hazard and why. Good luck with that.